Here with Sanford head coach Chris Hatcher. Coach, we spoke last year. You said, I mean, the media was overlooking you, the other coaches were overlooking you guys. You guys come out and have an explosive year. What, when did you know this team was going to be as special as it ended up being? First of all, it was an exciting year, and um, we had a lot of breaks go our way. Um, after the first game, we played Kennesaw, and um, we're fortunate enough to beat them at home um, to start the season 1-0. and um, You know, I really felt like we had a mature group of guys that – um, that enjoyed playing football and, and, and did get distracted and were very businesslike in their approach each and every day um, at practice. And at that point, I felt like that, um, you know, get a break here or there, some good things would come our way. And we were very fortunate, um, had a great comeback against Tennessee Tech. Um, and then we just kind of got on a roll and um, finished it off with a bang and had a wonderful season. Um, and it's a great credit to our staff and our players for um, all the hard work they put in last season. You made a deep playoff run, got all the way to Fargo, played North Dakota State. What was your, what was, what do you feel like yours and your team's biggest learning experience was from that playoff run? Well, I think just being in the postseason play and having the media scrutiny on you, and um, you know that's something that you know Sanford hadn't gone that far in the playoffs in you know almost 30 years. So um, being able to do that was great for a university. Um, we came up a little short there at the end, but um, well, what a ride it was. Your quarterback behind me, Michael Hires, comes in first season, breaks the FCS record for completion percentage. Your quarterback guy, talk a little bit about his development and what his ceiling could be this season. I thought going into spring ball, I was like, you know, the guy's very accurate, um, has a sneaky, strong arm, um, and he just got better and better each and every day. And then this, you know, he had a great rapport with the receivers last season. Um, you know, again, we got some, a lot of new faces surrounding him. Um, we were able to run the ball well last year when we needed to. Got to do a lot of that the same to take some pressure off of him early. Um, but he's just got to go out and continue to make the routine plays in order for us to be successful again next season. What's one thing on both sides of the football that you wanted to improve on going from 2022 to 2023? Well, I think the biggest thing is we got a lot of new faces. You know, a lot of the guys that played last year aren't on the roster um, now. Now we got a good core of guys back. Um, but the biggest thing is I think that our depth's a lot better. Um, but will these guys be a really good team um, is yet to be determined. Um, and that's what training camp's for. For you looking at 2023, do you feel like the incre like last season no one was looking at you guys to win the conference? This year, a lot of first place votes. Do you guys feel the pressure to repeat as SOCON champions? Um, no, you know, I don't even use the word repeat because we'll be a brand new team next year. I mean, each year, every no team's ever the same, but we have a lot of new faces, especially on defense and our wide receiver position. Um, guys that wasn't on the team last year, so to them, they're not trying to repeat. Again, we're trying to win one game a week, and um, hopefully we'll better do that and we can hold the trophy up again um, at the end of this upcoming season. You've been in this conference a long time. The parity's at an all-time high. I think this is one of the most competitive conferences in the country. Talk a little bit about how hard it is each week knowing that a team could be at the bottom but could knock off the top team in the conference. A lot of great coaches in this league, a lot of great assistant coaches in this league. Um, every week you better bring your A game because everybody's just about the same. Um, and you know it always comes down to those last couple plays in the ball game. Um, so um, it's going to be very difficult. And, and then in the age of the transfer portal, um, you know, really nobody knows what anybody's got coming back or who they brought in. Um, just like last year, we were the surprise team. Um, you know, I would expect a few other teams to, to come out on all cylinders as well. Coach, I appreciate your time. Congrats on a great season last year and looking to have another great one this year. Thank you.